Jason, uh, before we get to other things, I just wanted to get your thoughts on this whole Mitch Marner situation that's playing out right now. I know you're, you're new to being a Leaf, but how concerned are you that he might not be there for the start of training camp? No, it's just the business of the game right now, and uh, Mitch's in the same position as a lot of restricted guys, so I'm sure it'll all play out in due course. And uh, It's just a part of the game that uh, we're in August and people have nothing to talk about, so we're going to hear a lot about it. Uh, have you had any talks with him? Have you, you know, spoken to him at all this summer? I know, again, you're new to the team. Yeah, no, none, none at all. Okay. Yeah. What, what stands out to you about his about him as a player and what he could be as a teammate? Well, from afar, you can tell that Mitch's a guy that is passionate about the game and uh, he's a Toronto boy and loves to play in Toronto and the team's in a good spot. So I, I imagine it's all going to work out and it's going to be a great fit and he's going to be with them for a long time. And uh, he's a big piece of our team and uh, we need him. So uh, it'll be good if it gets settled. But like I said, there's lots of guys in the same situation. And that's kind of just the, the trend in what's going on right now. I wanted to ask you about some of your other new teammates. Uh, watching from afar, what has stood out to you about Austin Matthews? Yeah, Austin's one of the most dangerous goal scorers in the game, so I'm looking forward to playing with him and just kind of seeing him day to day. And uh, he can do special things. His release is second to none, so uh, he's a guy that definitely is exciting. You know, those guys are an exciting young core to, to have and to be around. John Tavares is a guy you know well. I believe you trained with him quite a bit over the years. What will it be like to be teammates with him here? Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm a big JT fan. I always have been. Uh, the way he, you know, puts everything into the game, his preparation, uh, you know, how hard he works and what he does, you know, outside of the game to, to make himself as great as he is. I think is is going to be fun to be around. We've trained together for a lot of summers and just a guy that I enjoy being around. So uh, definitely somebody I'm excited to play with. Can you give us one thing he does off the ice to train that you're like, whoa, this guy. He's, he's really intense. No, it's nothing specific. It's just the intensity that he brings and just how he's constantly trying to get better and working on different parts of his game. And it's a, a trend that, you know, a lot of the great players have, and JT definitely has that. He made a really smooth transition here last year, playing in his hometown for the first time. What, I guess, excites you the most about playing in Toronto? Yeah, different position for me. It's you know, I'm coming in trying to be a good support piece for the team. It's nice to be around family and friends, obviously, but it's great to play on a team that has a chance to compete. And uh, for me, it's you know I have to find a niche on the team quickly and try to support guys and uh, find a way to contribute myself and and just be a good teammate. So uh, different role than JT coming in in the middle of his prime, but for me, it's something that I you know I'm looking forward to and take very seriously. Have you had much discussions with Coach Babcock at all? And if so, you know, what's his message to you? Yeah, we've talked a little bit. We'll yeah. kind of keep things, you know, between ourselves. But there's definitely there's there's an expectation of what he wants from me, and uh, we're on the same page. And I think that it's a it's a job and things that I can willingly do. You're you're obviously a veteran in the league. The Leafs are kind of a younger team now, trying to get over the hump. What do you think it takes for for a young team to kind of get to the next level? Well, I think confidence just, you know, you're going to have to play all season. They've had great regular season success, and you have to believe that the process is going to, uh, you know, be worth the work. And when you get to the playoffs, you have a game to rely on and to play, uh, you know, a solid game and, and not feel like you have to change anything when things kind of go, you know, don't go your way in a series. So um, I feel like the team has, has made some significant changes, but also it's the same core. So it's a, it's a great group to build with, and uh, it's going to be a fun year. It's going to be challenging, and the expectations are high, and as a team, that's what you want. We're at the first uh, ever hockey night in Brampton. I'm just curious, what were your favorite memories of being a, a Leafs fan growing up in, in this market? Yeah, I just uh, watching Dougie Gilmore play, and uh, you know, '93 was kind of I was 10 years old, so that was a big, a big time for me to be a Leaf fan. Um, you know, even just Matt Sundin was a guy that I looked up to. He was a big, rangy guy, even though I spent a lot of my career playing against him. He was a guy that I watched uh, quite a bit, and you know, just the, how hockey crazy the city is. So I grew up in the minor hockey system here and just around it, and uh, it's a very passionate city, so it'd be a great place to come and hopefully do some good things. Teammates with Doug tonight, what will that be like? That's it, I've got to know him a little bit, so that's pretty cool. You know, he's still a guy that uh, I enjoy being around, and he's so nice to me now, and just such a classy guy. Enjoy the night. Yeah, thanks a lot.